Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I've been receiving a lot of emails saying, Jack, are you going to do a comparison with the new Photoshop Elements 2018 like you did last year between 14 and 15? Let me look what we still have here. We still have 14 loaded in my application. And now we have 15 and we have 2018. So on the left here, if I can bring this up, we have Photoshop Elements 15. And on the right, we have the new Photoshop Elements 2018. And we are now going to look at the comparison between these two and let you know, is this a, uh, a needed upgrade or is this something that maybe you can wait until uh, Photoshop Elements 2019 or 2020 or maybe something else down the road? So let's first go ahead and start on the left with our uh, Photoshop Elements uh, 15. And we can see, once again, let's make sure that is 15, is 15. We're going to start with the quick edit. Now on the quick edit, if you look at both sides of this fence, okay, the Photoshop Elements 15 on your left here, and the Photoshop Elements 2018, on the right. Everything is pretty much the same. Actually, everything is exactly the same. If you look at the Smart Fix tools on the left and on the right, they're all exactly the same tools. Now, let's check out the next portion of this. And even the, uh, the hand tools here, uh, because you know they throw in a couple little expert tools when you're working on your guy on your quick edits. And we can see that those tools have stayed the same. Let's go ahead now to the guided edit. Now in the guided edit, we have our basics. The basics is, you can see, exactly the same, right? We have the brightness and contrast, the skin tone on both sides, cropping photos, levels, lighten and darken, resize the photo, rotate and straighten, sharpen and the vignette effects so on the left and on the right they are both exactly the same let's go ahead and look under the color tab so under the color tab here we're going to look and again we have exactly the same tools that we had in photoshop elements 15 that are in now in the new 2018 and they're exactly in the same places now, this is something you would expect over the years when you're building software and when you're revamping your software and you're making subtle changes. You you don't want to move these tiles around. They've done that in the past where they've reordered them, and I don't really know why they did that. But when you're working with a new version and you're using some of these tools and you say, boy, I really love that tool. Where did it go? Well, you want it to be in the same place. Much like when you're shopping in a grocery store, you don't want them to move the chili beans or maybe move the bread owl on you and you go in a store for a loaf of bread and it takes you a half hour to find it. It's not really efficient for your time. Same holds true with editing photos. The next we'll look at is the black and white tab. Here's the black and white tab on 15. Here's the black and white tab on 2018. Black and white is the first, uh, the first uh, guided edit. Then we got black and white color pop. Uh, black and white selections, high key, line drawing, and low key. So again, they're both the same. Everything looks like it should be there, and it, it's, it's all the same. We will go under Fun Edits. And again, folks, all of these are, I teach all of these, and a lot of people say, Jack, I don't use a lot of those. But I teach all these in my course. If you go to jtclearning.com, that's jtclearning.com. Sign up for one of my courses. Uh, and all of these are, are taught in there. And there's a reason because it saves time. Uh, that's one thing I never liked about Photoshop CC or, or Creative Cloud because it makes it really hard to do things. It's nice to have these wizards when you go in and play with your photographs uh, really quickly and easily. So under Fun Edits, we have... Oh, look, there's a new one up here. So we did have... Uh, effects collage well effects collage is now moved over one because we have a new one here double exposure 
Now, double exposure is just that. It's when you take two photographs and you overlay those. This video is not going to be a tutorial of how to use these new tools. This is just a, a, a basic uh, comparison between the two and see what's really new in here. What, what did they add that's going to make us spend that extra $80 for the upgrade? All right, so next we have effects and collage, which is in the old one. Uh, Old-fashioned photos, out of bounds. Um, painterly, photo text, which is in the old one. Picture stack, pop art, the uh, puzzle effect. You can scroll down here a little bit. Reflections. Uh, let's see. Uh, reflections. And then they added another new one here. Look at this one. Shape overlay effect. Now, we've been doing this in the expert mode for years, right? It's when you take a shape and you overlay it onto your uh, photograph. And this is often nice if you're a scrapbooker. Uh, a lot of scrapbookers use this kind of stuff. Uh, it's just a really neat little effect. Well, they added it in here to your guided fun edits. The next one is the speed effect, which we can see in 2015 we have the before and after of uh, the speed pan. We have that. And we have the zoom burst effect. So yeah, those are all there. So there's two new ones here, the shape overlay and the double exposure. Let's go ahead now into the special edits. And we'll have a look in here and see if there's anything new in special edits. In special edits, let's see here. Oh, yes, we do have a new one right here, replace background. Now, replace background, I've been teaching this for years. We've done this with skies. We've done this with uh, just a whole background of a photograph uh, to give it that pop, right? And you can see here, the girl standing behind, uh, that tree's behind this girl, and they're like, oh, let's replace it with something more interesting. They replace it with that, that red tree there, so... Uh, very nice that's it's in there. Um, again, I haven't uh, been playing a whole lot with this one yet to test it out, but it is there. You can replace your backgrounds very simply by using the guided edit special edits. Uh, the next one is Death of Field. That we had that in 15. Frame Creator we have. The Orton effect, which is a really cool effect. Uh, we have that in 15. Perfect Portrait we have. Uh, recompose we have, restore old photos, uh, scratches and blemishes, tilt shift, and oh wait, we have another new one down here called the watercolor effect, where you could take your photograph and change it into a watercolor. Again, very nice effect. Uh, it's very easy to do these with the uh, guided special edit, and uh, it's a piece of cake to go in there and, and do a water uh, color effect. Not to, again, we have done that for years. I have videos up on YouTube. Uh, you folks can search for those watercolor uh, that I've done in the expert mode, and it will definitely show you how to do that. So very simply, uh, a very simple edit. Let's go now off to photo merge and photo merge in our 2018. And we see that there's six tiles in there, so it's telling me that's probably the same, right? Photo merge compose, photo merge exposure. Uh, photo merge faces, photo merge group shots. So you can uh, fix your group shots up there, make those really nice and uh, cleaned up. Photo merge scene cleaner. Scene cleaners are very nice. If you've never used this, it shows the gentleman, uh, you know, photo bombing your photo. And, you know, again, I would probably take the photo again, but say you didn't, say you didn't notice this gentleman until you got home to your editor. You're like, oh no, that photo is messed up. I wanted Bob standing by that statue, but now I got this this guy here. So you can do a, a scene cleaner, and you can get rid of that, and uh, the guy is magically gone, right? So uh, we can do that with some expert tools, but that's really handy because it's quick. It's easy to do. The last one is photo merge panoramic or panorama. So taking three or four shots, you can make a really nice stretched out picture there. And But we did have that in 15, so it was there. Let's go ahead and flip over to our expert mode. I know that's where everybody spends most of their time at in the expert mode uh, because I get tons of emails that says, Jack, we want to have more and more expert uh, editing tips on your videos. Um, I like to show it all. That's why the class is at jtclearning.com. Uh, I teach you from you know start to finish and show you all the great tools because there's so many in here. That it's, it, I think you miss something when you spend all this money for software and you don't use all the tools 
I think you're losing out a little bit. Um, yeah, we could do everything in the expert mode and, you know, and tell everybody we did it in the expert mode. But sometimes it's nice to just do a quick little edit and have that uh, conversation piece hanging in your living room when somebody steps in. So in here, we have under our selection tool, the quick selection tool here at the top. All the tools you'll notice are still laid out the same. Everything in there looks the same. There's one difference I'll tell you in just a minute. But under the quick selection tool here, we have our normal quick selection tools. But if you've been looking online, you'll say, wow, under the new 2018, we have this new tool down here. And the new tool is called Auto Selection. Again, I'm not going to get into today of using these tools, but Auto Selection allows you to basically draw, you know, a, a square, just a select, you know, whatever you're selecting, just square around it and hit Auto Select. And the idea is that Photoshop Elements will find the edges and you don't have to use your tools anymore going and doing, the, you know, selection brushes. Um, and trying to work your way around those or using a mask around it. So auto selection is supposed to be a lot easier. Uh, again, we'll play with that later down the road. And they have a new icon. Okay, it's called the eye tool. Now, if you remember in the old version, let me get my mouse over here, it's called the red eye removal tool. And the red eye removal tool today is, is starting to get to, to be less needed uh, than it was some years ago. I think most photographers out there understand that, that flash directly into somebody's eyes, you know, in a low light situation, you're going to get the reflection off the, uh, the retina and you're going to get that red look. So you can remove it, but most people don't really get that in their photographs anymore. And I think that's partly because of the red eye reduction uh, on the cameras. It helps a lot. But over here now, the idea of this eye tool is that you can open closed eyes down here in the bottom. Um, again, that's one of those tools, you know, you're going to have to play with and see how it works. But the idea there is if somebody's eyes are closed, you can click on that and uh, it will select their face. And you can basically, you're changing their eyes. Uh, if you go back on my videos, I think I did one called Removing Eyeglass Reflection. On YouTube, if you look for that, uh, it was quite some time ago. Uh, my daughter was very young, and uh, she wore glasses all the time. We used to get a lot of reflection in her glasses. But I found a way to replace her eyes and the lens and everything to get rid of that reflection. So there's ways you can do that, you know, without using this tool. But again, they did add that tool. So that is a list of features that they uh, added to this. Um, Again, it was the um, it was under fun edits. It was the double exposure. Uh, it was also the uh, the shape overlay under special edits. We got to replace background now, and we got the watercolor effect. And under the expert mode, we now have the auto select tool uh, that you can use. And we have the um, open the closed eyes tool. So in total, that was what? That was uh, two there. Uh, two here. That's that's four. Uh, got one here, one there. So that's six. Uh, yeah, six new tools. So there's six new tools in Photoshop Elements 2018. Is it the six tools that you're going to want to upgrade your Photoshop Elements 15? Um, I'm actually probably leaning towards no. Uh, I don't think six tools is enough to spend $79 for when you can do all that, all those same edits using what you already have. Uh, they didn't add anything that you're going to, it's going to blow you away. And, um, you know, that's something you got to think about. Is it worth the $80? Now, if you're using Photoshop Elements 11, 10, 11, 12, then yeah, by all means, buy the new version, you know, because you're two or three versions out of uh, out of the, the great tools that are there. Uh, if I compared this against version 10, you would see a lot of differences. Uh, even if I compare this against version 11, you will see a lot of differences. And 12, um, even 13. So... <laughs> 14 and 15, you know, there was there was enough differences where I told you you should upgrade to Photoshop Elements 15. But if you have 14 or 15, I would say let's wait on uh, 2018 
to maybe 2019 or 2020, whatever they're going to name the next version, and uh, see what you get with that package. Once again, folks, remember, uh, check out my courses on Photoshop Elements. There's uh, hundreds of people uh, taking them. Once you sign up, you're, you're never, I, I never take you off. In other words, it's not one of those courses that you start and then at the end, you know, you're finished and, and you're done. You can go back at any time, uh, watch, you know, one of the uh, tutorial videos I have on there and learn even more. Uh, there, it's a lot better than YouTube because it's it's in a great format where it takes you from beginning to end and you can find things very easily instead of searching around youtube and listening to people's music and watching them type online uh, the courses are just really really beneficial so again you can find us at jtclearning.com jtclearning.com and uh, sign up for one of those today i'm sure you'll be very happy that you did uh, the latest one up there is photoshop elements 15 and um, will I be doing a Photoshop Elements 2018? In all probability, yes, because people are going to be buying it and they're going to be looking for those great courses coming out to help them the way I can help you now. So, all right. Thanks very much for watching. Please comment on this video. Let me know how everything's going out there. Uh, I would suggest maybe download the trial version of 2018 and see for yourself if you like it or if it's a buy. Okay, everybody, take care, and I will talk to you next time. Remember, until then, Keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.